it's always nuts getting back to Fort Wayne just because I, I just got a lot of love for my city um, where I grew up and uh, um, where uh, my high school football, wrestling, track and field stuff were, were all played and obviously my education uh, where it all kind of started. So, you know, obviously I got a lot of family here, my mom, brothers and sisters, uh, every, uh, a lot of nieces and nephews, they're all still here in town. So it's always exciting to get back in town and, and see everybody, obviously all the people who, uh, you know, aided me through all that progression, you know, until I got to college. It, 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 it's great to see those people as well. Absolutely. Uh, can you tell me, uh, how have past experiences impacted what you tell or how you advise coaches? Whoa, that's a great question. Um, you know, I, I, I lean a lot on the positive experiences that I had from the coaches like Coach Rare, um, Coach Land, uh, some of those guys, um, they know who I'm talking to. So uh, I lean a lot on what they kind of taught me in terms of maintaining some some uh, ability to be calm, but also being tough on the guys at the same time, uh, making sure that they understand that, uh, they, that that's what they really want. They want someone to be tough on them um, and, and to be successful. I mean, more often than not, the person who who's always like, oh, you're so good, you're so good. So, uh, they're really not helping you get any better, you know. Um, and, 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 you know, our coaches here in Fort Wayne, they are that way. They, they, were, they were always tough on me to get better and uh, be great at my craft. Absolutely. Can you tell me what was uh, – some of the highlights of your discussion today? Uh, you know, I talked to them a lot about just, just all the different techniques at, at playing the receiver position. But also one of the biggest things is, hey, guys, you, you got to teach them uh, exactly what you want them to say. That You have to have your own language with, with, with that receiving core. Um, make sure that they understand that language and you guys are the only ones that speak it so that you can have more success on the field more rapidly, make changes and adjustments and so on and so forth um, throughout the game versus all this jibber jabber going on on the sideline um, one of the key things I said hey at the receiver position you got to teach them as if they are the quarterback so then that way also I think everyone has seen those receivers come back and say oh, I was open I was open you know and and uh, you know if they understand the progressions the reads and so on and so forth as well as the quarterback does then that'll prevent them from coming back and doing that in the future Absolutely. Can you tell me, I mean, what kind of group dynamic does that cultivate? Uh, you, well, I think it obviously creates a great relationship between the receiver and the quarterback. So then actually they can speak on the same level. Um, you know, too often receivers across the country are just being told, hey, go run your route. And that's just not the way that it should be done. Uh, they, they need to understand the game. Um, and that, that was a big part of tonight. Hey, understand the game. Help your guys understand the game. You guys understand it, but, um, but make sure that they understand the game too. And one of the highlights is come on up to Purdue and you guys can come hang out with us and we'll, we'll, we'll give you more information, more, more knowledge and so on and so forth, at least whatever we have to hopefully make each and every one of you better. Absolutely. And uh, speaking <coughs> of, of Purdue, so you've been recently named co offensive <laughs> coordinator. What's that mean to you and how do you plan to move forward in, in that role? You know, uh, it means a ton to me. Coach Brom has been great to me throughout my career, really from the first day I met him. Um, he told me some really good things right, right away to, that, that I utilize in, in, my, in, in my coaching career now. So uh, he's been really good to me. It means a lot to me that he trusts me to, to give me that opportunity to, to do that. Um, going forward, it, and one thing Coach Brom says a lot of, you know, winning to typically, you know, takes care of everything. So, um, you know, all I'm going to do is go out there and help Purdue University win games. That That is what's going to uh, allow me to continue to progress along if, if, if God gives me the opportunity to do that, um, is us going out there and winning games and, and uh, making sure that we're the best team in this state.